All right, guys, as you can see, it is extremely cold outside. Uh, this is just about as cold as it's ever gonna get here in the state of Georgia where I live. Uh, it is supposedly, I think, 16. My car said 16 degrees outside. Um, and then the weather app on my phone said 14. And it's breezy. Uh, but you can see there's Florida Cooter. She's just moved her leg. So the turtles are resting under ice. And I've said this time and time again, I let those leaves build up. It adds a thermal layer and the turtles can kind of safely exist under that ice. And then the moving water also helps keep the surface from icing over. As you can see, where there's current, it's got like a channel. There's like kind of a main channel that goes through the pond. And where it ends over here is where the pump is. And it just recirculates and keeps it from freezing over. We'll go take a look at the aquascape pond over here and it's the same thing. Uh, because the water is moving, moving pretty regular, um, it doesn't freeze over. Again, it's probably between 14 and 16 degrees Fahrenheit and windy, and you don't really see any ice. And then the other factor with the aquascape pond is a lot of it is underground. So a lot of this water, you can see the koi swimming underwater. A lot of this goes into the ground up here. <laughs> The water goes into the ground here in the intake bay, so it goes down four feet below the ground and then is recirculated up to the top up here. And so up here, this is the wetland up here. So the water is welling up from the ground to here, flows downstream to there, and it does not freeze over at all. Now in some of these stock tank setups, you can see there is a layer of ice Not that thick, but there is a layer of ice there. Same here, still flexible. And then in this large stock tank, I ran a pump and it keeps the surface agitated. That keeps the ice from forming over. This pond also, again, same thing. The water is being agitated. Let's see, you can see there's an output there. Water's agitated. So the little bit of ice that's in here is very thin. So it's extremely cold out here. I'm not gonna hang out for too much longer, but I did wanna kinda show you guys a little bit of how things can go when it's extremely cold. Turtles can do just fine if they're native species and if they're cold tolerant. Great, so I think with as cold as it is, I think the move is gonna be to take the GoPro and get some underwater footage and see it just if anything can be seen underwater. I think I'm gonna start at the pond over here and then maybe we'll end at the aquascape stream and see if anything's out moving around. Probably just fish. So it is the next day and as you can see lots of ice going around the edge of this pond I'm looking to see if I can see anybody through the ice uh, some of the turtles will come closer to the surface to kind of absorb some of the warmth from the sunlight kind of piercing through the ice a little bit but it's pretty solid it's been nine degrees all day yesterday, all night last night. I think there was like a wind chill factor also last night. So that made it extra cold. You can 
can see where this is coming out of there. It's just formed all that ice. <laughs> but the turtles, you know, they've been through this before. This is just maybe the longest sustained cold temperatures that these guys have gone through, but you know, they have gone through it before. Aquascape stream is still flowing. There's a little bit of ice up there. You can kind of see it in that section. But overall, still seeing pretty good flow. Got some ice forming here. And then down here, let's see. Got a little piece of ice here. Not that thick. That looks pretty comes down you can kind of see where the main channel flows through here and it goes around gets taken down into the ground there I don't see any turtles uh, I can see the koi through the ice right there he's doing good it just sits down at the bottom I did say take some of the uh, aquascape geotextile and kind of make a blanket over these stock tanks because it was so windy last night you know, with a stock tank sitting above ground, I do kind of worry about it freezing, you know, a bit more than, you know, something in ground. So I did cover them up. You can see on this end of this stock tank though, because I ran a pump, the water is just constantly moving. So you don't get full ice coverage, which is great. So yeah, that's what I've done. And Hopefully everybody is just dormant down at the bottom. I'll be doing fine. I'm just checking in. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna go inside. Peace.